Welcome to another Arts and Farts video. Hey, hello everybody. This evening we are looking at uh, another interesting musical related item. This is an antique early 1900s Hamilton music stand. It's a uh, oak wood top and cast iron claw foot base. Uh, I couldn't find any videos about these antique stands on YouTube, so I thought I would make one just in case uh, there's any avid collectors out there. So here's a little overview video about these uh, particular antique stands. Just a little backstory about this one. This stand actually uh, belonged to my grandfather. He, I think, had it from a very early age. And my mom even remembers the fact that, um, oh yeah, we have a photo of him here, right over here as a kid playing the violin. There he is, Sidney Stadola. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, my mom always remembers the stand being in the house, so it's pretty much a family heirloom. Uh, so I had this stand, um, it, even as a student, uh, he let me uh, use it, and I, th I think when I was in Boston, I was using this, and then later on I brought it back home, uh, where it's been sitting at my parents' house, and my dad just brought it uh, back to me to use here, and he did a little bit of restoration to it, so I thought maybe I'd cover some of the, the restoration work. Uh, that my dad did, and I thought he actually did a really good job. Um, he seemed to believe that there would have been gold leafing on a few of the parts here, so you can see on the cast iron claw feet, retouched a little bit of the, the gold paint there. Uh, if you look up above a little bit more on the screw there, and on the back here is also gold. And actually, my dad would have used one of these stands, or he remembers using them in youth orchestra. So from what he remembered, they actually had this gold paint on them. This was pretty much standard. And over time, it probably faded from being handled. Um, so he knew to actually touch that up, and that would be uh, very close to what it uh, originally looked like. Just looking at it here, yeah, it's, it's cast iron. So this thing weighs a ton. And you can imagine probably in the old days when stagehands were bringing these on stage for symphony orchestras and probably carried one in each hand. They were probably extremely, extremely um, heavy. Let's give it a little weight test here. That weighs a ton. So this would have dated from the early 1900s, 1920s, 1930s, 1940s. Um, and maybe a company like Lion and Healy might have sold them. Um, as you can imagine, they would look great probably with a harp because harps often had a lot of ornate gold uh, leafing and paint on them. So this would be a good uh, pairing with that. The entire base here uh, is cast iron and the wood top here, it's actually been, actually I don't think anything was really done to this except um, it used to have a, uh, a hinge uh, up on top of here and the, the uh, base of the, the stand top where the music is held uh, would have been up here. So actually it's upside down and uh, my dad actually glued it um, or thinking, no, he nailed it to the bottom here because it was kind of pointless to have a, a stand based on a hinge like this uh, because well, my, my reasoning for that would be, and I actually specifically remember uh, reaching up to grab a pencil and then I would knock the bottom of this up and then my pencils or metronome would fly off. And if that hits your instrument, that's not such a great thing. So I'm glad that it's actually fixed to here. There's no hinge. And you can see the original holes here have been patched up. So I, I agree very much with that improvement on the stand. And as you can see here, I left my bandstand light on just to show that the even though it's a very kind of thick um, uh, top part here, it can still accommodate the clip from a bandstand light. And I put a piece of paper here just so it wouldn't damage it. So yeah, that's, uh, that's that. This is uh, Antique Hamilton Music Stand. The company still exists. They still have a website, but now I think they make um, uh, a wide variety, a larger variety of stands. So they're, they're pretty popular and I guess a very long running company. But you see these on auction and online quite a bit. Uh, probably you can pick them up at estate sales. So obviously modern music stands have uh, uh, come a long way. I mean, some of the basics are, are still there. Uh, the one thing I like about modern music stands is that the, the, the top 
stand is usually a solid piece of sheet metal. Um, the only problem with this top is if you have a piece of music here and you're trying to write on it, then that would happen. So you would have to have kind of a hard back book on there or some sort of a backing on that because obviously musicians will be kind of annotating and writing things in their music uh, as they practice. But of course if you use this for a concert on a, a concert stage, and it's definitely a beautiful stand and definitely deserves to be on a concert stage, you wouldn't have to worry about this sort of issue. So um, I would like to get this on the concert stage again. Uh, if I'm willing to lug this uh, in the car <laughs> through the halls into the concert stage, then I think it would look really nice uh, in its uh, proper setting. Definitely a beautiful antique and it's really lovely to have in the music studio. And uh, thanks for picking this up, Grandpa. So it's definitely stood the test of time. And of course, refinished by Dad. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Uh, please post your comments. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And uh, if you have a Hamilton antique music stand, please share your thoughts on it or feel free to post any uh, pics and uh, any comments about uh, how you feel about these stands, if you like to use them, if you hate them, if you love them, uh, whatever. Do share it with us. Yeah, have yourself a good night.